Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert recurring decimals to fractions. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, I have converted the following recurring decimal to fraction. I have 0, 24. The recurring number is my 4. Let x equals 0, 24. 4, 4, and so on, because 4 is my recurring number. Multiplying both sides by 10, I'm going to have 10x equals 2, 4, 4, 4, and so on. I'll call that my equation 1. If you check the set of digits after my decimal, the first one starts with 2, and this my first equation after multiplying both sides by 10 start with 4. I'm going to multiply the first equation by 100 in order to make my set of digits after my decimal point the same. That will make it easy for me to subtract or simplify. So multiplying the start equation by 100, I'm going to have from x equals 0, 0,2444, I'm going to have 100x 100x equals 24,444 and so on. That will be my second equation. And if you check the set of digits after my decimal point, they are the same. So I'm going to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Subtracting, I have 100 minus 10x. That will give me 90x equals... 24,444 minus 2,444 because I have the same set of digits after my decimal point that cancels out. So I have, I'm have i left with 24 minus 2, which is 22. To find x, I'm going to divide both sides by 90. Divided by 90. Remember, whatever you do on your left, you do on your right. 90 goes in 90. 1, I have x equals 22 over 90. If I simplify by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2, I'm going to have 11 over 45. So therefore, converting 0, 0,24, which is a recurring decimal to a fraction, I'm going to have 11 over 45. In the second example, I'm going to convert 1,256 to decimal. My 5, 6 are my recurring numbers. So let x equals 1, 2, 5, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6 are my recurring digits. So that goes on, etc. Multiplying both sides by 10, I have 10x equals 12, 5, 6, 5, 6. I'm going to call that my first equation. I'm not going to subtract from the first equation because the digit after my decimal is different. The first one starts with 2 and my second equation after multiplying by 10 starts with 5. So in order to get or have the same set of digits after my decimal, I have to multiply by a value that will give me that. In this example, if I multiply by 1000, I'm going to have 1000x equals multiplying 1 comma 2 5 6 5 6 by a thousand will give me 1 2 5 6 comma 5 6 5 6 and so on and that will be my equation 2. I'm doing that to make it easy for me to subtract without a decimal. So subtracting equation 2 from 1 I'm going to have equation 2 minus equation 1 that will give me on my left hand side 1000 minus 10x will give me 990x equals on my right hand side I have 1 to 5 6 comma 5 6 5 6 etc minus 12 comma 5 6 5 6 because I have the same set of digits after my decimal point that cancels so I'm left with 1 to 5 6 minus 12 which will give me 1 to double four as a thousand two hundred and forty four 
to find x i'm going to divide both sides by 990 that's cancelled i'm left with x equals 1244 4 over 990 and simplifying by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2 i'm going to have 622 over 495 in the next example i have convert 0 comma 17 to decimal let x equals 0 comma 1777 etc because 7 is my recurring digit if I multiply both sides by 10, I'm going to have 10x equals 1, 777, etc. I call that my equation 1. If I check the set of digits after my decimal, it's different. The first one starts with 1 and the second start with 7. In order to make both set of equations start with 7, I'm going to multiply again by 100. On my left hand side, 100 times x will give me 100x equals 17, 777, etc. That's my equation 2. The equation or my the base equation I'm multiplying with is the first one. So therefore, I'm going to subtract equation 1 from equation 2. That will give me 100. On my left hand side, 100x minus 10x, that's 90x equals because I have the same set of numbers after my digital or after my comma, then that drops off. So I have 17 minus 1, which is 16, dividing both sides by 90 in order to find x. This cancels. Therefore, my x equals 16 over 90. And if I divide or simplify, I'm going to have 8 over 45. In my last example, I have 0, 0,45 as my re recurring decimal, converting to fraction. I have let x equals 0, 0,4545 45, and so on. That's my 4 and 5 are my recurring digit. And because 4 and 5, the recurring digit after the decimal is 2, I'm going to multiply both sides by 100 not 10 because if i multiply by 10 then my digit after the decimal will start with 5 but i want the digit after the decimal to start with 4 so multiplying both sides by 100 i have 100 x equals 45 comma 45 45 etc the first equation is my first one and this will be my second equation so subtracting Equation 1 from equation 2, on my left hand side I have 100x minus x, that will give me 99x equals, because I have the same set of digits after my decimal, that drops off, so I have 45 minus 0, which is 45, and to find x, I'm going to divide both sides by 99, 99 divided by 99, that's 1, I'm left with x equals 45 over 99 if i simplify by dividing by 3 i'm going to have x equals 15 over 33 therefore converting 0 comma 45 a recurring decimal to fraction i'm going to have 15 over 33 thanks for watching bye